Hello everyone, my name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Valheim. I am here by our colorful Yule Tree, because as is tradition, it is still nighttime, and I'm starting episode right now, because I can't sleep. Now, I realize, and by I can't sleep, I mean I can't sleep in-game. Out of game, it's like afternoon. Anyway, yeah, we can't sleep in this bed because we need a fire nearby. And I'm thinking that today is going to be the day that we spend some time tackling this deficiency. Because I would like to be able to be comfortable and resting anywhere in the house here. And also, I want to be able to sleep so we can pass through to daytime a lot more easily without, you know, just waiting, obviously. So, even though we just beat Elk Thier last episode, and we now have six of these hard antlers, let's go ahead and, you know, we'll make the thing that I saw we learned how to make, which I think was a, a hoe? No, it's a pickaxe. Okay. Looked kind of like a hoe to me. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and make this. We need one and ten. That's easy. And can we upgrade you? Looks like we cannot upgrade you. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Good to know. Though, so, you know, it might behoove us. What's your durability like? 100. Let's make a second one. So that whenever we do have this pickaxe, we will at least have a backup so we don't have to trek back and forth from place to place because I got so sick of running back and forth for all of our trees sometimes and I think it's time that we just play it smart. So I'm going to go ahead and probably redo some of my inventory, fill up on some arrows again. I might even leave my fire arrows here. Oh, I also did upgrade the bow. We now have uh, triple the durability, so 150. And we deal a bit more damage. It's something like, I think it was 3 damage per upgrade, so not a huge difference, but it'll help. So, yeah. I'll bring y'all back when we're ready to start figuring out what to do about the fireplace, and then I think... you. Alright. And then I think I want to go and see if we can beat up that beehive. There you are. And we'll see what you want, Hugin. Hello. You have crafted a pickaxe. Thank you, Sumner. Black forest is rich in minerals. There you can find copper in the ground. Okay. And tin lining the ocean shore. Okay, so look for copper in the ground and tin along the ocean. Cool. Now go forth and strike the earth. I will. In a little while. Now, something I noted is that here, these steps, because they're not under the awning here, they actually take damage from the rain when there's a big rainstorm. don't think anything else should be taking damage at this point. But I do keep finding weird damage popping up here and there, but I haven't been able to pin down a pattern to figure out why. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to do inventory words, Kurazar. I'm going to do my inventory, I'm going to make sure I don't have any more food to cook, and then I'll bring you all back as we are working on the fires. Okay, folks, welcome back. I am actually emptied, and I've got some ideas in mind. I did some thinking about where I want things to be, and I was going to put the chimney, or the campfire's fireplace, back in this corner. But I have some concerns about the warmth reaching, like, out here. And also, granted, the bed might have to come downstairs, but I do want to kind of see if we can figure out a way to keep the bed. We'll see how that works out. But I think the corner isn't going to be a place to do it. So instead, I'm kind of thinking that we should move our whole crafting setup over to, say, here. And... That was just a regular bird, wasn't it? That wasn't Hugin telling me things again. 
Um, yeah, so I'm thinking we'll move these guys over here. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. So, you come with me. Oh, I can't break it down without a workbench. Okay, fun. All right. So, you come with me. It's more like it. I do like that you get everything back rather than having to, like, lose some of the material. So, let's go ahead and we will put the crafting station. And stick you here in the corner like this. Put the chopping block with the axe sticking out about like that. And then the tanning rack will go here next to it. Now these guys may need to move at some point. What I'm thinking is we're going to put the fireplace here. Now, I'm kind of asking for trouble, I think, because I'm worried about knocking out these walls and what will happen. So I think we just need to sort of try it and find out. And if bad things happen, then uh, then yeah, bad things happen. So, what are you guys doing? You're okay. All right, all right, I'm digging it. Okay, so... Let's do a bit of that. Are you guys still... You're still pretty solid. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to grab a whole bunch of wood with my hammer put away. Of course, of course. Oops, okay. We'll, we'll leave you behind. I'm going to try reinforcing these with a bit of... Oops. I will always forget that. I'm going to fit you in there. And you in there. Alright. And then, yeah, oh. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if we can break this with that pickaxe. Let's try it. Can I break you? Oh, I can. Oh, yes. Get the heck out of my way. Now that's a heck of an animation. All that for five stones? Really? How about you? Oh my. Okay, so this actually deforms the stone? Or I guess the stones are sort of voxel-like? Well, that's good to know. Pardon me while I finish clearing this. Oh? Oh? Okay, so in the last episode, we were messing around with the hoe. Actually, I think that was in the episode before. And I was wondering about how you dig down. Because the hoe could raise things up, but there was no way to sort of lower it without just using the level option. And it looks like... It looks like to dig things out, you use the pickaxe, which makes perfect sense. It's just that in the context of the tools I had, it, it's interesting the way that this game progresses. I'm not sure if this were like more like vintage story, I'd be frustrated, but I think it's interesting that you can you can do certain things at certain times, and luckily it isn't, or at least currently, doesn't seem vital to be able to dig down, so yeah, interesting to note. Okay. Alright, back to working over here. Let's go ahead and fix things up. Alright. And we're going to dump the pickaxe in here again. Sorry, buddy. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and start filling things out in here. We're going to make a little box here for our fire. And we're going to do that 
by pressing wrong buttons again. Now, just do. There we go. Sheesh. Oh no, no, you're going the wrong way now. I didn't know that was even a thing. Oh wait, right. Okay, better. So what I want to do here is I want to snap these out here so that I can then snap a couple of little poles under here. As I was saying, so I can snap some poles under here. Or you know what? Let's do balls first. No, because I want the walls to be flush with the ground, I think. Hmm. Conundrum. Conundrum indeed. You know, I don't want the walls flush with the ground. I want them like so. There we go. And now... So I don't, they don't snap very well now, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and we'll just brace you there. Oh my, okay. I'll brace you basically there. That should do. Cool. So now... In theory, I should be able to get inside and blow these out. Okay, great. And then, give me some stones for the... Right. Stones for the stone god. Oh, I already have some stone, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and make a campfire. Or two. Do one right there, and one right there. Okay. And we can fill you with fuel. There we go. All right, and look at all that smoke coming up and in. Oof. Okay. So here's where we need to make some kind of roof that will help guide the smoke out. And I also want to put in some mitigations so that I don't just walk into the fires. I'm thinking that ought to do. Although, although, you know what? Let's put these over the fires first. There you are. All right, so we can fit a couple of these over each fire, looks like. So we can do one, two, three, ooh, we got three, four, five. Okay, five is more than enough, okay. Let's go out here and just break these down. We don't need these guys anymore. Done. All right, cool. Close you. Alright, so it looks like if I put that bar right where I was going to, I won't be able to reach these guys. So I'm thinking what we do instead is we put the bar. Does that keep me from falling in? It does, okay. Just barely, but it does. Maybe we'll even do that as well. How do I get you to line up a little bit better? I guess the answer is I don't. Which I guess is fine. Okay, so. Let's fit... Ooh, hey. These fit exactly right up there. Nifty. 
Nifty, nifty. Okay, so we have a safe set of fire pits. Cool, cool. I like it. And now we need to blow out... Actually, do I even need to blow out the wall? I don't think we do, although we might want to... want to get rid of this window. We'll put you there instead. That seems to have not done anything bad to the roof yet, which is great. Okay, so now what? Now we need to get up there somehow, I think. I know we probably don't really need to do a realistic chimney, which granted you wouldn't make it out of wood in the first place. But I do kind of want to, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna bust you out for now. World save. Okay. Yeah, we're getting smoke in here. Ack. Okay, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Let's get that patched back up. There we go. Okay, so now I need to get to the roof. I'm just gonna have to just probably use some makeshift ladders. I don't think there's any scaffolding in this game. I haven't seen any yet. Okay, so we have that. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's try some makeshift ladders then. Just so that I can get up to here. Let's go. Hoppity 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 hop. Hop. And there we are. Okay, so hopefully I won't smoke myself to death here. Let's get we know let's get some of these going on. Let's just use some, you know, let's make this a little taller, if we can. I'm not sure we should. But that's going to be fun to target. Let's get some stamina. Yeah, okay. Okie doke. Sweet. And now we get some... Let's do some 45 degree thatch roof. And we just... Give you the old spin. Or we don't. Or we don't indeed. Okay. Oh, wait. Mm, you're not snapping. Okay, we're going to... Do this. Get up on the roof, and can I snap you anywhere here? No, you're not really snapping anywhere, are you? You're snapping in the middle there, which I don't really want. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and do this. That's okay like that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I would like to bring these walls down to the ground. Close enough. go. We 
have a very smoky fire in here. Oof, okay. Let's see how the smoke's doing in our little house here. Okay, I think we've kept it up pretty well. We are warm basically everywhere but over here, which is fine. And how about up here? Can I rest in bed now? I can rest in bed. Okay, great. We can sleep. You know, I've never slept in game, so <gasps> we can sleep. Oh man. Wow, that's a first. It's sort of blinking at me in the corner. Good morning. Now do we get any more benefits from being rested from sleeping? Day 14. I think it was day 7 when the uh when the Fire Nation attacked. By which I mean Ike Fears minions. Okay, so okay, cool. I'm going to have a think. That was actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have a think and see what else there is to do that I want to get to before we go into the Black Forest. Because that's going to be a bit of a journey. Because there's some up here. And I ran into some over here, right at the very edge. And I'm wondering if this line here delineates where the Black Forest is. If that's the case, then that will make spotting biomes a lot easier. And if that is the case, then that means that this is Black Forest, too, all the way up here. So, right, I was going to do bees. Let's do bees. I'm going to get ready, and we'll go do bees. And you all can laugh at me as I do stupid stuff and get my butt poisoned. So, yeah, enjoy. We are getting near to the bees, but I wanted to stop to read this runestone. Heed these words of Ulf, a poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood and all you need to build a house. You will need to craft a roof to keep out the rain, then you will need walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door or it will be much harder to go in and out. Yeah, that makes sense. These things Ulf has learned for himself. Now he writes them on this stone to help others. Pray to Odin for his soul. So it seems like these are the game's tutorial stones. I kind of wish they were easier to find and less scattered. Like, there's a lot of space between some of these things, and they're not always easy to spot. So, I kind of wish it was a little... They were more common, or like, placed closer to where you would normally start the game. I don't know. Okay, so there is a beehive in there. I'm kind of thinking... That one, I chopped down these little tree things here. Thank you. Get my lines of sight cleared. What I'm unclear on is these little trees, do they grow into bigger trees later, or do they stay small forever? Hey, buddy. Hi. Yep, you're dead. Okay. That was fun. Quick resin mission, apparently. But yes, let's try... I want to try shooting this with a bow first. And missing, apparently. Oop, I heard that one. They did not appreciate that very much. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah, they didn't like... Oh, there's something up on the roof. There's honey on the roof. Okay, how do I get it? How do I get it? We got honey... Okay, and now we need, let's see, what do we need? We need, we need some wood. We have wood. Great. Workbench, because apparently you cannot do anything without a workbench, including breaking things. We're take that out, and what did we get? We got, we got a queen bee. Okay, and we can now build a beehive. Nifty. Okay. It's a great find. Just tear you down. Free, easy wood. At the cost of stamina, apparently.
Okay. Cool. That was a pretty cool find. Okay, so it looks like all we have to do is break these down. And we get some honey. And we get a queen bee. Oh, and your, oh, your stamina food. Wow. You are great stamina food. Goodbye, raspberries. Okay. So I think we're going to go back here. I guess we can mark this off the map. Goodbye, bees. Let's go down here, and we will do the same thing to this beehive. Steal the queen bee. Actually, you know what? Ooh. If I mess something else up, can we recover? Can I get that deer? Do I care? No, you've seen me already, so... Yeah, maybe we'll figure out what to do with this queen bee first, and then as long as we get whatever it is rolling, we will just come back here and break you later. Alright, ooh, more flint. Is there a neck? There is a neck. Alright, let's see if we can take care of this deer first. Deer. And... This guy. Oop. Ow. Knife. Boar, apparently. Let's get the boar with a knife, too. Why not? Hey, boar. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, I could have gotten a bird, too. Oh, well. Okay, so let's get inside. Or better yet, let's get our hammer out and see what we need for building... Oh, beehive. Queen bee and wood. Oh, wow, that's simple. Okay, so what do I do with you? Like, Do I just put you outside and hope for the best? I bet that's why we have dandelions, isn't it? Let's go see if we can plant these things or something. Alright, so we're inside. Let's find the dandelions. Can I plant you? Use dandelion on what? I don't know. You tell me. Alright, tell you what. Let's let's hang out. Or just hang on to them. Let's head outside and we'll put the bees... We'll put these bees over here. I'm hoping that we can move these just like we can everything else. So, bees, you go up here. Why not? Okay. Check bees. The bees are happy. Great. Now, can I... You can't use dandelion on beehive. Okay. Bees are happy. Alright, we got happy bees. I guess we'll check back in a while and see what kind of honey we've got. 87 damage. Wow. Then again, that is the triple sneak attack damage, I think, kicking in. Okay, so I wish there was like a timer to sort of see when you get more stuff. But it sounds like, it sounds like we should just go and take out this beehive over here. So let's go do that, build our second beehive, and then We'll probably call it a wrap there, because I want to start on an adventure in the next episode up to the Black Forest. So, sorry bees. Whoa. Boom. Oh, we got poisoned. Oh well. Did we get a queen bee from that? We did not get a queen bee. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. It's probably up here. Hopefully. Can we get up here? we go. Yes, we got our queen bee. Okay. Cool. Alright, do we have enough wood? We do have enough wood. Oh, bye bird. Oh, you saw me too. I am not quick on the draw with these birds. It was last episode, but I don't know. So I do wonder a bit if the bees can be unhappy, and if so, what are the like? What are the 
parameters that make them unhappy. Like, should I put these bees side by side? Or should I put them, like, way over here, where they're not going to have, like, rivalries? Rival bees. Okay, so you... You're happy. You're happy. You know what? That makes me happy, too. Oh, hey, here we go. Bird. Bam. Ah! He took off right as I shot. Oh, man. Cruelty knows no bounds. Well, I think that was a pretty good episode. We got our chimney going. We now have the ability to sleep in our bed. We can rest while we're still sort of bopping around the house doing stuff. And then we got our first two beehives and a bit of honey. And I'm excited for that for things like mining and so on. And chopping trees, especially. So, yeah. Grab some raspberries. And I think in between episodes, we're not going to do a whole lot. We're just going to sort of get ready to go. I'll make sure we're stocked on food. I'll bring both of our pickaxes. And then we will just go on a merry little jaunt through the Black Forest and hope we survive. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you enjoyed building the chimney and watching me flail about with getting that roof on, as well as laughing as I got stung by bees, and I am all itchy and red now, so I'm going to bid you all goodbye. As always, my name is Hasman Korazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.